Well, good Monday morning everyone as Hurricane Ian churns down in the Caribbean. Local authorities are preparing for anything that might come our way. We're going to join a news conference taking place at the Bay EOC right now. We're going to join in and listen live. Ian approached the west coast of Florida on Wednesday. While this is favorable news for us, we urge you to keep your guard up. And there's still some uncertainty about the storm. Bay County stands uh, ready to assist uh, our fellow citizens in other parts of the state, uh, many of which came to assist us during Hurricane Michael and the Chipola complex fires. The primary threat for Bay County is potentially heavy rainfall at this point. Uh, we encourage everyone to monitor the local media. Uh, our local um, forecasters are familiar with this area and sometimes or most of the times we get the best information from those folks. Also the National Weather Service and the Bay County social media such as Alert Bay. This is the time I'd like to introduce to you um, Congressman Dr. Neil Dunn. Thank you Chief. Thank you very much, Chief. Uh, well, uh, here we are again, and uh, we all know how this goes. If you live in Bay County, you've seen this before. Your elected officials are getting together, and we're going through the checklist with our first responders and our disaster professionals, both here in Tallahassee and at, uh, in the Capitol. Uh, so we're, 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 we're working on this. It's important that you pay attention. Uh, we want you to stay tuned in to your local news and forecasters, your radio, and please go on the uh, disaster, The uh, what's the website you got there? Bay, Bayalert.org. Bay please uh, sign up there for the notifications. Let's stay on top of this thing and uh, not be surprised. And don't panic. Don't panic. We know, we, we've got this in hand. We're even more resilient than we were last time. Thank you so much. Next, I'd like to uh, introduce Senator-elect Jay Trumbull, ask her to say a few words for him. Uh, thank you very much, Chief. Um, it is kind of disheartening to be here again, uh, but uh, incredibly encouraging to hear some of the commentary on the briefing that we received uh, from the director and from the chief uh, earlier this morning and, and from um, uh, the CERT team in Tallahassee. You know, one of the things that, that stood out to me uh, in, in what we heard in the briefing today is the word wobble. Um, this storm has done a lot of that. And, you know, where yesterday or two days ago it looked like we were going to have a direct hit to Bay County, now it looks like it's going to be much more of a uh, Pinellas, Hillsborough County uh, hit and run up the coast and slow down a little bit potentially. But the reality is, is that, you know, once it gets into the Gulf, there, you know, lots of things could happen. And so, you know, what, our, what my message is and what I think uh, our message today needs to be is that, you know, let's stay vigilant. Let's make sure that we're watching out uh, for it. And, uh, and, you know, hopefully in northwest Florida, we, you know, we're, we're going to be uh, not as affected from it. But what I would ask is for those folks that um, lived here and, you know, have friends that live in the central part of the state and on, you know, the western side like a Tampa uh, area, um, remember how those folks reached out to us after they had an issue, or after we had issues, uh, after Michael, and, you know, be willing to help, um, you know, be willing to send resources and things like that down, um, you know, after this storm, you know, uh, moves through this state. It could be a tremendous um, water event, um, which is a little bit, you know, disheartening, but, um, but listen, I mean, the state is very much ready um, and, and um, going to make sure that we have everything necessary to, to, to keep people safe and I know that um, you know folks are folks are watching it diligently but I very much appreciate chief your team um, and uh, and keeping us all abreast and, and, and you know obviously wish that uh, it does not come over to our neck of the woods but if it does we'll stay we'll stand ready thank you sir thank you. I'd like to introduce now uh, sheriff Tommy Ford Good morning. Thank you, Chief. I understand the stress that we're all feeling right now, those of us that especially have gone through, through Hurricane Michael, but I want you to know that this team behind you, the men and women, your leaders in the community, have been tirelessly preparing uh, for this situation over, over the weekend. You know, certainly uh, I, I do feel better after the forecast uh, today for our, our situation, but then again, my heart uh, goes out to uh, those communities that may be affected by this. 
it is not a situation that we can let our guard down in. You know, we're still looking at uh, the four to five day forecast, and there we're still in the, the uh, in the cone of, of possibility. So it's something that we, having been through this before, we know what we need to do to prepare. Go ahead and 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 make those preparations for whether that's evacuation or having supplies on hand that you need. And what's critically important is that you stay informed. And the best way to do that is through our local media partners. Uh, they will be uh, in regular contact with us as we need to pass on information to you. Uh, we also have social media at the Bay County Emergency Services, the Bay County Sheriff's Office, uh, uh, social media pages, Facebook, uh, Instagram, um, and alertbay.org is the way that we in the emergency management community communicate directly with you uh, during an emergency situation. So go ahead and download uh, that app on your phone. Go ahead and sign up for that, and that's how we'll uh, communicate critical information to you. But the message right now is be prepared, stay informed. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff Ford. I'd like to introduce to you now our, the chairman of the Bay County Board of County Commissioners, Mr. Robert Carroll. Thank you, Chief. Good morning. Uh, currently, Bay County, we are not under the storm watch or warning for Hurricane Ian, but this is a very large, powerful storm, and uh, we must remain diligent in the event the forecast changes. Hopefully, everyone has been preparing for the worst, uh, but at this time, we anticipate a potentially significant rain event. At the county level, Bay County began implementing our usual storm preparations late last week, which includes checking our county maintained ditches and waterways to ensure they're clear, fueling all of our vehicles, securing and staging equipment, testing all of our generators. Our shelter teams through Baytish Schools are prepared to mobilize sheltering facilities if necessary. The Department of Health is prepared to assist special needs citizens. Beck and Animal Control is prepared to assist with animals at the shelter if needed. Our utilities department is preparing, including ensuring that the Deer Point Reservoir drawdown gates are open and all necessary equipment is staged to ensure continued uninterrupted provision of potable water. We provided sandbags, or excuse me, sand for bagging at Pete Edwards Field at 7300 McKelvey Road, which is on Panama City Beach, and at the northwest side of the Deer Point Dam. Uh, if you do need sand, you'll need to get your own sandbags, which are available at uh, most any home improvement store. <laughs> We're going to continue to prepare so this storm will hit us, as it's a lot easier to stand down our staff uh, and equipment than to stand it up late. We have activated the Citizens Information Center. So if anyone has storm-related questions, please call this number, 850-248-6090 instead of 911. This will allow our dispatchers to continue to focus on emergency situations. But please continue to monitor your local news stations for the most current information. And as we've heard several times today, please subscribe to Alert Bay for emergency notifications, which is www.alertbay.org. Thank you, Chief. I, I want to thank the, uh, our congressional delegation for coming in today, uh, the, our commissioners who uh, always stand behind us in these emergencies, and also my staff uh, in emergency services, uh, including our emergency management folks who are, are working diligently to uh, make preparations for this uh, event. Hopefully it will, uh, it will not be a major uh, source of, of problems for us. But uh, we are preparing for the worst and uh, hoping for the best, so to speak. And we stand prepared to help our uh, partners in other parts of the state that were so generous to help us during Hurricane Michael and also the Chipola complex fires. That's all I have for you. Do you have any questions for us? Well, we learned a lot from Hurricane Michael. There's been significant uh, infrastructure improvements to schools, to uh, public buildings, a wastewater treatment plant. Uh, we've done a, um, a tremendous job, I think, in uh, rebuilding. There's still a long way to go, but uh, we're, we're replacing fire stations. We, we've hardened buildings or public safety buildings, and uh, this will be an ongoing, un ongoing, ongoing thing for several more years because uh, it takes about 10 years to recover from a storm like Hurricane Michael. But uh, I think the county's made significant prog progress in that direction. All right, thank you very much.